This is VIDS 101. Subprogram 1, tab 01. It is VIDS 101. Here we see it setting A to 1. Here it goes to subroutine and says it should return on R. Subroutine is at AD. AD, it sets A to 2. Then it does a return on R, which means it goes back to the instruction after the go to R, and it's at this halt. After the halt, it goes to AE. There it sets S and T to 0, and sets up a loop over I for I0, and down here it's next, I4, 2. So first it'll go through the loop with I of 0, then I of 2, and then I of 4. It will go through the loop. The first thing it does is it adds I to S. First time I 0, so it adds 0 to S. The next time I is 2, it adds 2 to the 0, S becomes 2. And then the next time I is going to be 4, and it's going to add 4 to S, and S will become 6. Here is the skip instruction. The first time it goes through and I is 0, it doesn't skip any instructions. So it'll go right to the next instruction, add 10 to T, and then go down here to AF. Whereas the second time it goes through, T is 2, I'm sorry, I is 2, and it's going to skip I going to skip these two instructions, add 20 to T, making it 30, and then it'll go to AF. And then the third time it goes around the loop, I will be 4. It will add the 4 to S, S will become 6. And then down here it's going to skip four instructions, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And it will add 30 to T, which would be T at the time, would be 30, so it'll be 60. And then it goes out of the loop and sees the last halt right before it goes home. Well, let's execute this routine. We'll turn on the trail, we'll turn on data, and we'll go to the first halt. Well, at the first halt, we see A is 2. Now remember, it set A to 1, then it went to this subroutine at AD. Here it's in that subroutine where it sets A to 2. Then it returns to the instruction after the go to, which is here. So, A is 2. Advance to the next halt. The next halt is at the end of the four next loop, right before it gets the next value of i. Here, it adds i to s. Well, s was zero and it added zero to it. s is still zero. Then it comes to the skip. It says skip i instructions. Well, i is zero, so it goes from 21 right to 22 doesn't skip any instructions. It adds to T 10. So now T is 10. Then it goes to AF where the halt is. So our value of T is 10. Then it's going to go around the loop again. So I'm going to hit advance. It goes around now for I being 2. So when it first it adds I to S. So now S is 2. We see that down here. And then it says it's going to skip two instructions. What was at 21? It skips 22, skips 23. Now it's in instruction 24. And it says I'm going to add 20 to T. Well, it was 10, so now it's 30. Then it goes to AF where the halt is. Now we go around the loop again. All right, this time. S had been 2, but now I is 4, so now S becomes 6. Goes into the loop, well, 
y is 4, it's going to skip 4 instructions. Well, it's at 21, it's going to skip 22, 23, 24, and 25. And here you see it's at 26. It adds to t 30. Well, t was already 30, so now it's going to be 60. And down here you see the 60. Well, it's not going to go around the loop anymore because 4 is the maximum value it's allowed to have in the loop. So we advance it, and we see it went right past the next i. It didn't loop around again. And it says the halt right before the home instruction. So if we advance again, it's going to go home to the main program, and there it will exit. So I'll just say advance again. And there it exited in the main program. That's the end of tab 101 in vids.